Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'd like to do something that I haven't done before, which is to explain a little bit about my website at Adam Block Studios. My site has grown dramatically in terms of the number of videos and resources that are available. A visitor to my site, just upon glancing at all the information, it would be difficult to see the full scope and organization of all of those videos. So that's what I'd like to point out. In fact, in a next video that I'm going to release, I'm going to have an announcement to explain that there is a further expansion of my site, more content, something that I think will interest a large fraction of astrophotographers. But I need to make this video first so it is clear how everything can be found and uh, taken advantage of on my site. So please join me for just a moment as I explain all about Adam Block Studios. Let me begin with this graphic, which shows that I have two very large collections of videos. I have Fundamentals and Horizons, both of which have many, many hundreds of videos. Now, Fundamentals is the set of instructions, resources, and demonstrations that give you an understanding of how to do astronomical image processing using, in particular, PixInsight. Now, the videos are grouped in various categories, but I also developed a path uh, a list of videos that you can follow in order so that it will make sense. You'll be building on that knowledge as you go through the videos. And Horizons might then be a next step. So it has even more videos, some of which are quite specialized, like on comet image processing, as well as mosaics, narrowband, uh, more general topics like broadband imaging with LRGB, RGB, uh, techniques and fixes, and much more. This is content that I regularly update as well as new ideas and new techniques become available. And that's not to say that I don't do the same in fundamentals. In particular, when PixInsight changes, I often need to change videos, re-record them, so everything is up to date in both of these collections. Now, if you look to the side, you'll notice that I've pulled out a few of the items. That's because there are some separate courses you can take advantage of if you want, if you didn't want to invest in the entire collection, at least not initially. You might want to see what my style of teaching is like, get a taste for what some of this content is all about. So in fundamentals in particular, I have fast track training, which you'll see is one of the first items that's in the list. It's a great introduction to uh, image processing and particular PixInsight. I also have a very important topic of Stretch Academy. It's another section in Fundamentals, but you can um, take advantage of it separately if you would like. Now on the Horizon side, I also pulled out some of these categories to take advantage of. They include Comet Academy, which is of course found in the slightly larger set of videos that I have all about comets. The same is true about mosaics and narrowband imaging. Now, the way that I've structured the fees on my site is such that these are different collections entirely, so there isn't a tier system or anything like that. When you purchase fundamentals, it's a one-time payment for access to all of this content, even as I might update it. Horizons is a little different in that uh, there is an initial fee to get in, plus there is a subscription amount to maintain access to this material, and that's again because I constantly upload uh, new videos to take advantage of, to enjoy. And if you should happen to purchase one of these other courses, although I don't have any discounts on my site, um, I just want to make it what you see is what you get. What I do, though, is make it available such that when you buy one of the courses, you can apply that payment that you made towards the purchase of the collection that it came out of. So, for example, Fast Track Training is $60. You pay $60, you watch it, you enjoy it, and of course, you want to get fundamentals. So the cost for fundamentals is decremented, it's discounted by that $60, and uh, it's basically a way to slow by your way into the larger collection if you are won over by my teaching style. Looking at my site then, much of this information will make a lot of sense. If you look at the menu off to the side, you'll see that I do have two collections, Fundamentals and Horizons, just like my graphic. The way to access a lot of this information, there are multiple ways. You can click on links here, also along the menu. What you're looking at right now is called the Members page. This is what members see when they first log in. Oftentimes there'll be some announcements at the top, 
And then every video as I publish them is made available so people can look at least chronologically, though the videos will fall in the different uh, collections or categories. If you want to learn more about the various, you know, descriptions of those collections of videos and courses, that's what the plans are all about. You can see this is the fee structure for my site. You'll notice the, the graphic is the same, but then I do go into somewhat more detail about what is in each of these courses. I also want to mention that as far as the, uh, the content is concerned, my site is actually public in every in the sense that every title is available. So if you're ever curious about, you know, what is there, if, for example, you looked under Stretch Academy and you scroll down, you will see all of these orange text. Uh, those are all links to videos. So the titles give you some sense of what kind of information can be found within, and you can see how long some of the videos are to give you a sense of how dense that information is. The last little bit of information that I think is super helpful on my site is the fact that you will find that there are breadcrumbs. So if you need to know where you are on my site, you just look at this uh, small link, uh, set of links that tells you this would be the home page, then it's under the general category of Pix Insight. Fundamentals is the collection I'm in. Specifically, I'm in Stretch Academy. So if I want to go back to Fundamentals, I click on that link. It takes me back to the main page. This is the... Uh, list of videos I mentioned earlier. This is the path. If you want to follow the path, the path is not short. You knew that, right? So that's what image processing is all about, at least in fundamentals. And then finally, within horizons, you'll find a lot more information. These are those categories you saw earlier. Most recently, I've been concentrating on narrowband image processing, and here are some of the results. In fact, these images are the very ones that I cover in the new course called Narrowband Fast Track Training. You'll be hearing a little bit more about this in an upcoming announcement. For even more information about my site and the organization of it, um, back on the home page, everyone can see this video. It is publicly available. This is another tour of my site where I go into yet more detail about more of the features of the site. You are able to, for example, download videos. I explain how to do that. There are also ways of recording which videos you have visited and which ones you have not. I teach you how you can speed me up and so I sound like a chipmunk. All kinds of information are found within that description, so I encourage you to check that out. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. Hopefully this will give a little more understanding to uh, the organization of my site and what you can take advantage of should you become a member. Join today, of course.